Hey guys, welcome back to Cameron TV. So today, I thought I'd bring you a video on how to catch all of the new books in the month of May on Animal Crossing New Horizons. This video is only for the Northern Hemisphere because I'm from the Northern Hemisphere. Therefore, I'm not able to get any of the books from the Southern Hemisphere. The month of May is upon us and I love catching books. So I thought I would take the opportunity to try and catch all the new ones in the month of May and put it in a little video for you so that you ain't got to go through the trouble of trying to do it yourself. If this video helps you in any way whatsoever, then please do consider liking and subscribing because it really does help the channel. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So what I've done, I have broken it down into three or four different categories so that we can break down all the bugs that we got to catch. And we're going to be starting off with the water bugs. There are three different bugs here, two that spawn in water and one that spawns near water. It's technically a flying bug, but I've classed it with water simply because if it spawns near water, then why not just put it in with the water bugs as opposed to having its own flying category. So yeah, here are the water bugs. Okay, so the first water bug that we can find is called the pond skater. This tiny little critter runs along the water surface and you can find it between 8am and 7pm. It is found between the months of May and September and it does spawn in the rain. It's fairly common, fairly easy to catch, so you shouldn't really have any problem with it. The next bug that we're going to be looking for is called the diving beetle. The diving beetle is fairly much the same as the pond skater. It's available in May until September and it can be caught between 8am and 7pm and it is indeed found in the rain. Like the pond skater, the diving beetle can be found floating in the water. They are very easy to catch and they are also fairly common. So once again you should not have much problem catching this. This next bug is called the banded dragonfly and I promise you it will make you pull your hair out. Not only is this bug rare, but it doesn't spawn in the rain either. On a normal day, the banded dragonfly can be found near the water, as that's where it appears, and it appears between the months of May and October, and between the times of 8am and 5pm. This bug is extremely rare, and if you are lucky enough to find it, then better look catching it, because it flies so fast. I got really lucky trying to catch my banded dragonfly, simply because when I found it, it flew into a cliff face, slowing it down, which meant I could catch up to it and swipe my net just in time. When found in the museum, the banded dragonfly can be found flying next to the dino dragonfly and it really does look majestic and picturesque. With the waterfall in the background, the view that you get of the bugs is just absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so now that the water bugs are out of the way, we are now onto the flower bugs. These are flying bugs, but I'm classing them as flower bugs because they only spawn when there are flowers around, as you can probably guess. They are butterflies. Um, there are only two butterflies to worry about in May. They are both very rare and it took me quite a while to find them. But yeah, without any further ado, let's jump into the butterflies. The next bug that we need to find is called the Great Purple Emperor Butterfly. Not to be confused with the normal Emperor Butterfly, this bug is indeed purple, hence the name. Now this bug can be found between May and August, between the hours of 4am and 7pm. This bug is extremely rare and it spawns when there are flowers nearby. Be careful though, because like many butterflies, like all butterflies actually, this bug does not spawn in the rain. Don't go looking for this bug for two hours and find out that it doesn't spawn because it's currently raining on your island. The final bug of the butterfly category is called Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly. Now, I love this butterfly. It's by far my favourite butterfly of the bunch. It's, it's massive, basically. It's massive. Hence the name Birdwing. When you find it, it flies like a bird. The, the wings of the butterfly just flap. It's absolutely phenomenal. This bug can be found between 8am and 4pm. And it can be found between the months of May and September. This bug is extremely rare, as you could imagine. And it only spawns by flowers. And obviously, because it's a butterfly, this bug does not spawn in the rain. When you see the bird wing butterfly in the museum, it, it's just outstanding. You really can tell that it is a queen's butterfly. It just stands out from the rest. It's absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so now that butterflies are out of the way, we are now moving on to the tree stump bugs. I'm actually pretty surprised because I didn't expect there to be that many tree stump bugs in an Animal Crossing game, really. I think there's about four or five of them. But yeah, so within May we get two new bugs that spawn on tree stumps. They're both fairly common, nothing too hard to catch. The way that I did it is I had a fair few tree stumps just dotted around my town, which made it very easy for them to spawn. 
I didn't have much trouble doing it. But yeah, here are the tree stump bugs. Okay, so we're kickstarting off the tree stump category with the violin beetle. The violin beetle can be found, you guessed it, tree stumps. They can be found all day between the months of May and June and then September to November. This bug goes into hibernation for a few months and then it comes back out in September. This bug does not spawn in the rain, but don't worry because when it's not raining, these bugs are fairly common, so it shouldn't be a problem to catch whatsoever. Okay, so the final beetle for you to catch in this category is called the Rosalia Patasai, Patasi beetle. I don't know, but one of them pronunciations I've probably got wrong, so I apologise. But yes, this bug is absolutely gorgeous. It is probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing bugs in this game. I think it's really nice. But yeah, this is a bright blue bug and it can be found all day on tree stumps between the months of May and September. The only difference is, compared to the violin beetle, is that this is a little bit more rare than the violin beetle. Um, it's only uncommon though, it's nothing too too much to worry about, so you, sh you shouldn't really have any sort of problem with catching this beetle. Okay, so we've reached the end of the list, and now it is time for the final bug. I love catching this bug, I really do enjoy this. Just the thrill of hunting for it, searching for it, and then just trying to catch it without getting stung. You guessed it, it is the tarantula's counterpart of the summertime, the scorpion. Now the scorpion is very rare and it spawns on the ground and it can be found between the months of May and October. It spawns during the hours of 7pm and 4am. Like I said this bug is very rare and it will indeed chase you if you take your net out. So be very careful if you do try and catch them. Try not to get startled because they do chase you. I will be bringing out a video very shortly on how to catch scorpions and tarantulas. They work for both the bugs because they are both the same bug basically with the same mechanics. And I will also be bringing out a video on how to create the best scorpion island in order to maximise the chances of catching these scorpions. Hey guys, if you got to this part of the video, then thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. It's great to see all the support and the love that I'm getting. I want you to let me know what your favourite bug is from May. Let me know down in the comments below. For me, my favourite bug would have to be a scorpion, simply because that's where I found my love for catching bugs, both the scorpion and the tarantula. I just really enjoy catching them. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what your favourite bug is because I really do want to know and I really am interested. Once again, if you've enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe and even share the video with your friends because it really does help out this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!